Okay, so we've got our uh, prime model, and what we're going to do now is give it a coat of green. For this, I'm going to be using the Army Painter Army Green. It's a good uniform colour to do. It's only going to be a base colour, so what I'm going to do is load my airbrush up, uh, get it to a, a, a just thicker than water consistency, and then you just go ahead and uh, coat the whole vehicle. Um, good thing about having the model already uh, sprayed black is uh, you use it for pre pre shading. So pay particular attention to the higher areas. Make the coating quite thick there, but uh, leave it off in the recesses, and it gives a good uh, appearance of shadow straight away, as you can see down there. And try not to get it onto the uh, insides. Again, it doesn't matter if you do because you can grime all this up later. Okay, uh, once that's done and it's dried. Uh, we've got to apply the uh, transfers and you can see some of the pre-shading done there with the black already and what we're going to do now is uh, just get to go over with some anti-shine varnish and all that does is just take the glint off the transfers you don't have to use it if you don't want but it's just a little an OCD of mine so go ahead and just go over the transfers and just mat them down a bit And then what we're going to do once that's fully dry is we're going to go ahead and put the hairspray on. For this you just use any hairspray. Yeah, the cheaper the better really. Don't go out and buy the, the best hairspray or anything. All I've used is just normal bog standard hairspray. And you can spray it straight out of the can if you like. But what I do is uh, put it into a beaker and decant it and use it in the airbrush. It just makes it a bit easier to control. And sometimes if the nozzle's blocked on the... Uh, on the hairspray it'll come out in clumps and it'll make a pulling effect and you don't want that so if, if you put it on with an airbrush you get a bit bit better effect you don't need a lot and top it up into your airbrush and then all we're going to be doing is uh, spraying the whole model what this what the hairspray will do is set like a lacquer and once that's uh, set leave it for a good uh, a good 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes I'd say just to be on the safe side uh, you can do a couple of coats if you like and what you'll have left then is when it's all dry that's what you've got left and the lacquer will protect the base coat green you've already put on ready for the whitewash and you can use any white for this um, there's, there's your army painter matte white which is good or you can use your uh, Vallejo one um, <clears throat> there's no no art to it. Again, it's just you want to make this as quick as possible. This is a, just a, a good way of getting a good a good quality tabletop standard whitewash. And for this video, I'm going to be using the Vallejo white. So again, you want this quite thin. You want it as a, a quite watery watery mix. Look. And then spray this on the whole model. Again, try not to get it on the tracks or the tires and the guns, it doesn't matter if you get any on the guns really, it'll probably act as a frost effect because again this is going to be in a winter uh, scenario so I should imagine it, that's fine. Some of the tools you can use is a cocktail stick I snap them so I can use a jagged edge it gives a good scratched effect q-tips and a makeup sponge is good as well. Also what you need for this is a good hard bristle brush for this I'm using the uh, Games Workshop stipple brush the stiffer the bristles are better and again it's just for scratching the paint off you can use what you want toothbrushes are good as well and just start dabbing your uh, sponge in water and take start taking off the paint it's important not to let the paint fully dry uh, it just makes it easy to take off and again you just start scratching around and if the hairspray has gone on right and you've left it long enough and the transfers are on right then uh, they shouldn't scratch off but uh, for this video, I want to give it a good scratched effect on the doors and stuff. So I'm going, I'm going quite tough with the hairbrush, sorry, the toothbrush, and dab it on some water there just to loosen up the paint, and just keep going around the whole of the vehicle, uh, taking off the wheel arches, the bonnets, anywhere you think where there could be scratches. Um, done a tank like this as well, and I've done it where you can imagine troops sitting, uh, as though to give it a scratched effect where they've slid off the side of the tank. And when you've put the white on, try not to do it in a uh, an even coat. You want it random coats. 
you want to try and replicate the appearance of what somebody would have done in in wartime. They're very cold, hungry, and they've they bored, and they've just been told to go and whitewash a tank. So they're going to be there with a bucket of whitewash paint, just splashing it on any way they can. So you don't want to make it neat. In fact, the scruffier the better. And then you can go ahead with a uh, with your uh, toothpicks or your cocktail sticks and just scratch off little tiny scratches again. Uh, your Q-tip or cotton bud with some water on, and just keep moving that paint around till you get the desired effect. And the hairspray will stop your green going. If you do go a bit mad, don't worry, you can always go back over it again. So uh, sometimes it's best to do a couple of layers, it gives a good effect. And then before the paint set, just go over with a wet brush. Just dip your brush in water, you don't need a uh, an expensive brush. Cheap brushes are, are better, because you got to destroy these brushes doing this. So just go on with the uh, water, and just keep scrubbing that paint away. You do it around the whole vehicle, and don't, don't be... Don't be upset if you get any on the tracks or the uh, the wheels that'll be covered later. And again, you just go around with the wet wet uh, cotton buds and start taking the water off. What you can do as well is uh, you can paint this on by hand, but I just do it with an airbrush just because it's quicker. Like I said, all I want to do is make a quick tabletop standard, but give it a good effect. So I use the airbrush just because of uh, speed. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is actually make a whitewash, and it's just you just put it in with water, a 50-50 mix. If you don't like that, you can go a bit more and just make it really watery, and just move it around with a cocktail stick or a cotton bud. Don't be afraid of getting your fingers in there and spreading it around. Like I said, the messier the better. And just dab it on, just water on that, and just start dabbing away. Do that around the whole model until you until you're happy with the effect you've got. Pay uh, pay attention to the, uh, the the any sharp edges that would scratch off. So you want to try and scrub the edges off, and I use the edge of a cocktail stick for that, or a stipple brush. Again, that's your whitewash just going straight on. Then just move it around with your sponge, scrape it. And I think that's about done. I'm happy with that. And that's that's the kind of effect you should be after. You can do more or less if you like, but I'm happy with that. A few more scratches on the side and over the tools. Again, don't worry about painting the tools individual, just for tabletop standard. You can do if you like, but again, I can imagine the person who's painting this has just thrown it all over the tank or the vehicle it's and just covered the weapons up as well, unless they've been not weapons or tools. And that's just about done. Uh, what we're going to go on to now is the uh, the tracks, and for this I'm going to use this. Uh, I think it's called Typhos Corrosion from Games Workshop. You want to use a, a really, really cheap brush for this because it will destroy your brushes. And again, all I'm going to do with this is just go over all the tracks and the uh, the tyres, wheel arches, the front, just create grime and dirt and mud. I mean, you can go over this with proper paints if you like, but I don't want to be uh, doing too much with this. So I'm not using any pigments or weathering compounds or anything. This is just a very quick way of making a good effect. Very quick. I mean, the whole process of this really only takes takes about an hour from start to finish. So you don't want to be... Uh, you, you can do. You don't want to be using lots of different pigments for this. This is just very, very basic. And just dab it around. Get rid of the excess. Leave a bit of uh, grit on there if you like. And just do the hole underneath around the wheel arch to make it look grubby. You can put some on the inside as well where the troops have been standing and taking in muddy boots with them. And uh, once that's dry, you can then, if you really want to, you can go over with some uh, dry brush paint. This is the Citadel's Rust, the Rust and 
just literally dab it on really really gently in some places because the vehicle wouldn't be that rusty it'd be looked after but some bits of rust will start to come through so you can put some on uh, some of the chipped areas which you if you went down to the black that would be a good place to put it because it will show that it's gone through the paint and actually exposing the metal as well so pay attention to the uh, raised areas and and the uh, tracks as well some of the tracks you can imagine being quite rusty in, in between around the hinges as well they'll start to uh, they'll start to rust so you don't want to be doing too much of this in fact less is more I'd say so just keep dabbing away and some of the scratches you put on with a cocktail stick you can put some there and that's all I'm going to do for this vehicle I hope you like what you see on this uh, bolt action half track tabletop standard whitewash effect um, <clears throat> please stay tuned for some more videos and please like share and subscribe and check back soon thanks for watching